Well, hello. Happy 4th of July. Well, today, an all-American gentleman is going to show you how to have an all-American 4th of July dinner. Right here, I have some of the ingredients that we need, all-American ingredients. We have all-American Hawaiian bread, all-American ground bison, bison are all-American, all-American Pabst Blue Ribbon beer, uh, all-American green peppers, all-American onions, and all-American big boys uh, seasoned salt, which is good. We also have all-American avocado oil. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to cut our all-American onion in half. One half, we're going to cut it into thin slices. The other half, we're going to slice in and dice into small little squares to mince it as much as possible so that we can put it in our all-American bison. What I'm going to use is this chopper to dice the all-American onion as small as possible. Now we gotta cut our all-American green pepper. First, we're gonna cut our all-American green pepper in half, and then we're gonna clear it out of all the seeds that are inside it. Then, we're going to dice it the same way we did with our all-American onion. Now we're gonna caramelize our all-American onion strips in our pan here. So first, what we wanna do we want to add some avocado oil. How much? It doesn't matter. This is America. We add as much as we want. Then we're going to turn on our heat. Get that oil all around in the pan. So let's add our, our all-American onion strips into the pan. We're going to let them caramelize. We're going to add a little bit of our big boy salt to it. How much? This is America, baby. So now it looks like our all-American onion slices are caramelized. So I think now we can set them aside here. Now we're going to take our all-American ground bison and we're going to add our all-American diced peppers and diced onions to the mixture. Next we're going to add our all-American big boy seasoning to our mixture here. How much do you add? Doesn't matter. We don't need measurements in America. Next, we're gonna take our mixture and go ahead and get it all mixed up together. Now that our all-American bison mixture is done, it's time to make our all-American slider patties. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take about a handful of meat, you wanna ball it up, and place it here and make a little patty right there. Very easy to do. Okay, our all-American bison patties are now ready to go. And I'll be cooking them on this cast iron pan that has these grill marks on them. You guys know that I love this pan. It's an all-American pan. What we need to do now is we're going to spray our skillet with some non-stick spray. Now we got to turn on the heat. How hot? As hot as freedom. Now we're going to place our patties onto our skillet. We're going to take a spoon and make a little indentation in on the all-American bison patties. Why are we doing this? We're going to add a little bit of all-American Pabst Blue Ribbon beer onto the top of these little patties. It's time to flip them over. Be careful. The pan is going to be hot. Now that our all-American bison patties are ready, let's go ahead and take them off the grill and put them away. So now we can take these all-American Hawaiian slider buns and toast them. I love my buns toasted. And we can put our patties on top of our buns. We could take a little bit of our caramelized onions and put them on top. So there you have it, all-American bison sliders, ready to go. However, I can't have these without an all-American drink. Now, we can have this Pabst Blue Ribbon all-American beer. We're going to add something to it. We're going to enjoy a frosty all-American mug with our all-American Pabst Blue Ribbon. 
and a shot of bourbon. Now it's time for some flavor fireworks. And there you have it, all-American bison sliders. Let's try them. Mmm, delicious. Happy birthday, America.